another week, and I feel like we're still not any closer to that darn winter update. It just seems like it's out there. Doesn't it feel like we're just slowly slogging along, and then you look up the calendar, you're like, update time? I'm like, nah, 1.6, it's nowhere near. Like, that's how I feel every day. I play Animal Crossing, and it's like, we're ready. We're ready. Franklin, Jingle, bro, 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 Brewster, and it just ain't happening. So I got a whole lot of update ideas for you today, straight from the source. You guys and girls. What's going on, everybody? It's Zachary from Switch Force. Smash that like button and let me know in the comments down below if you want any of these to creep their way into the winter update. I love these. If you want to get yours heard and maybe featured, join us on Discord. Link in every video in the description. And it's a happy day. Spreading peace and positivity. That's what we do best. And now, on to the rest. Let's get right into the show. We got some really good ones, including a character... I don't know that I knew about. I'm embarrassed to say it, but I don't know that I knew about this one. And it's so darn cool. So I got to give a big shout out to Aura for bringing up the idea of Blanca being back in New Horizons. Now, if you don't know, Blanca is a very curious kitty. This kitty, in some games, required you to draw them a face, which I think would be miraculous. Don't you think, Mr. Gnome? And if you want to know why I'm not stuck in the right season, it's because I have an empty plot, I cannot find a good villager, and my luck is terrible. Terrible. I keep getting uggos. If you got a recommendation for who I should have fill this plot, let me know in the comments. But Blanca, you draw her face. It was quite interesting. And then in New Leaf, she came on April Fool's Day, and you got to play this cute mini game where you had to try to figure out which villager was real. Now, Ara's idea is that in New Horizons, Blanca would play a similar role. So outside of April Fool's, she can be a special visitor who lets you buy pranking equipment and other fun tools. You can buy things like whoopee cushions, air horns, and more. And with these items, you can go around and prank your villagers by doing actions, from making them step on a whoopee cushion, to rigging their door to set off an air horn, to pouring slime on a villager. Pretty darn interesting. It's an idea I haven't really thought of, and we know that violence has no place in Animal Crossing, but what about pranks? Would you want to be silly with your villagers? One of the themes we always talk about is more interaction with your little cuties, and it's something Nintendo has completely ignored. So I would really like this idea. Plus, I think Blanca coming back and allowing you to draw on her face would unlock my heart and open up my passion. I haven't drawn in so long. You guys remember some of my amazing freaking bulletin board beauties, right? I would put one of those on her face. Also, in New Leaf, she wore the same makeup as you, so she'd have green eyes, blonde hair, and maybe even a mask, too. It would be wonderful. Shukin wants to know, can't we have perfect fruits back? And just more fruits. We're getting more vegetables. But where are the fruits? Dang it. I want bananas and shiny oranges. And this sounds delicious. Eat your veggies. It's something very few kids want to hear. Unless you're a vegetarian, in which case it is your dream scenario. But for most of us, the idea of chomping on pumpkins all through the winter and swallowing squash is interesting at best. But those fruits, man, that's what everybody was after at the start of the game, and it brings back such good memories. Remember when you open Animal Crossing and your whole goal is to find someone with a freaking apple? Or find a pear? Like, that's what you had going on? That was your big ticket of that day. And now we just wait for updates and design for the 800th time, and try to understand if Kid Core is appropriate or inappropriate. But more fruits would be fantastic. Bananas, I see you. Shiny oranges, okay. What other fruits would you like to see? I want grapes, baby. There is a grape basket, so there's some precedent set for this lovely fruit. Or what about off fruits? Granny Smith apples. That would be interesting as well, okay. Peaches of a different flavor. We could have pluots, apple plums, straight up plums, nectar freaking reens. Little variants like that would be very fun, but you're much more likely to get a grape or banana, a fruit that looks totally different and still might work. And honestly, banana makes the most sense because it does grow on a tree. Right? Right. Veggies, okay. Fruits, so much more at play. And I really hope Nintendo will expand the initial offerings. It's just hard because they don't seem to update a lot of the systems that are already in play. They've done things with the shops but they don't really add a whole lot in terms of this sort of thing. So I don't know what we'll get the first update. Terraforming, fruits, they say three years worth. At some point, I definitely hope this game goes B-A-N-A-N-A-S. St. Lionel Leona says, what about villager makeovers? It's like a mini game where you play with your villagers. Look, their hair, eye color, makeup, Audie with bangs, Mary with Monique's makeup. Now I think this might 
go too far for Nintendo. But the nugget I want to take out of your neato idea is add the ability to, to mix up villager looks. Like, it has me choked up at such an interesting idea. We're not going to ever get, probably not going to ever get more species. We might not even get more villagers. 400 is quite the plateful. But what if you could customize your villagers just a bit? I'm not saying change them all up, change their color, change their face, but even just their hair or their makeup, that would be pretty neat, right? So that my Marshall is a bit different than your Marshall, so that your Audi is a bit different than his Audi, so that Pat's Eric is never as cute as my Eric. Wouldn't that be wonderful? I think it would add a little bit of customative flair, and I think that would be fantastic to define our islands and our villagers, because it sort of sucks, in my opinion, when you're like, wait a second, they have Flora too? They've got Cranston? I also, but they look, some distinguishing feature, and I know you got the outfits, I know you can give them clothes, I love seeing my dudes and dudettes wear them and rock on the Switch Force gear, but I think this is a smart idea, Leona, and I really like it. Ang wants something simple, but again, it could go such a long way. An in-house portal that allows you to see what DIYs you are missing, how many of you have all the DIYs? I bet a lot of you. But some of you are probably missing some. I'm missing some. And it would be nice to have sort of a Critterpedia for DIY ideas. And it would be really nice to then know what we need to go after, what we could trade for. And I think more cataloging in general would be fun. Everybody loves the Critterpedia for the fish and the bugs. We all wish they had fossils. And wouldn't it be nifty if they had DIY as well? I think this is a smart move, and again, it goes right along with those quality of life QOL updates we always talk about, and we never seem to get. Geo424 has a fun one. Higher priced Nook Mile tickets that allow you to choose the species of villager on visited islands. So mystery islands become a lot less mysterious, and you could narrow in. You could zero in on a specific animal, and that would make my bird hunt so much less stressful but it's also probably asking for too much. And how expensive would that Nook Mile ticket be? How many Nook Miles would you pay for a ticket that allowed you to select species? 2,000 for a ticket, 20,000, 200,000? You'd have to make it quite rare. This guy's interested and he says he'd pay 50, but that's a lot of Nook Miles. I don't know if everyone would agree with that and I don't think Nintendo would ever do it, but I love the idea. It would kind of chip into the fun of villager hunts, but at this point in the game, we're all searching for someone usually so specific, it would be helpful. Aang is back with a double feature. I want an option to see where my friendship level is with my villagers. That way I know who I need to interact with more so they don't want to leave my island. You, my friend, have the opposite problem I have. I want a friendship level so I know who is angry and so I can continue to ignore them. So when I'm ready to have them depart, it's sayonara, sucker. No, that sounds a little harsh, but I do like to flip out my villager roster frequently, and for that, I don't build a whole lot of friendship. It's just not my favorite part of the game. But I know a lot of you love building those small bonds with your besties and your dreamies. And it would be nice if there was some indication of how far along in the process you are. Some meter, some stat, some semblance of anything besides like, hey, you now have their poster, or nothing at all. This would be a nice little addition and it's one that, again, it involves villager interactions and it's something, mini games are something, villager interactions are something, QOL is something, this is what everyone wants. I hope Nintendo takes notice of the community. I hope they're listening at some level. I don't expect them to watch this video, but if everyone's saying sort of the same general genre of things, maybe they'll eventually take note. I mean, this game is about to be their best seller of all time. Might as well pay attention. Even the tiny villagers sometime like to get swole. Working out is a big part of villager life and it's zero part of our in-game life. So some sort of health or strength type situation would be nice. And Alpha Tay says, our villagers are always doing hard work with their island chores, but we don't get an option to work out like our animal villagers. I wish there was a cute workout mini game for us to do. And I think that would be nifty, a way to be participatory. It seems like all the things everyone wants their villagers are things that villagers can do but we can't, right? Sit down, lick a popsicle, work out, sing. And I know we're different, right? Our species is obviously not the same, but wouldn't it be neat if you could participate in more of their practices and it would better align with building this friendship and being one happy hug away from a harmonious island. I like this, mini games, we need them. I think of everything discussed today, even though it's towards the end of the video, Minigames are most likely, and I really expect a Nintendo to deliver in year two. 
Well, my friends, another week, another list of awesome updates straight from you guys' souls. I love hearing your ideas, so I hope you'll share more with me over on the Discord. Join up, link in the description down below. We'll keep counting the days and the weeks until the winter update. It looks like it's going to be around the 24th or 25th, so we got some time, but I'm sure it'll pass a few more episodes, and then hopefully it'll be a blast. Could we get Brewster? I doubt it, but Franklin, Jingle, and hopefully a few more things. Until that time, thanks so much for watching. Smash that like button. Let me know in the comments down below your favorite idea from today. Is it Blanca being back with her blank face? Is it friendship level meter? Is it bananas? Or do you want more mini games? Let me know in the comments down below. Stay safe, stay healthy, stay smart out there. I love you a lot. And until next time, everybody, thanks again. Switch Force, out.